Hello, my name is Torsten. I work at ServiceNow together with my co-authors Nathan and Dimitri. Today, or whichever day you're watching this, I'm going to talk about Picard, which stands for Parsing Incrementally for Constrained Order Regressive Decoding. Picard is a new method for simple and efficient constrained decoding from large pre-trained language models. How can we make language models always generate executable code? There has been enormous success with language model synthesizing code, but a big unsolved problem is that the code is not always executable. In fact, it often violates syntactical and semantical constraints of the target language, and pre-training alone cannot fix this. With Picard, we believe we have found a solution to this problem that can work for all models with causal language generation, including, but not limited to, large pre-trained transformers. On the spider and co-sql text-to-sql datasets, Picard significantly improves the performance of existing models. Code validity goes up from 88 to 98 percent. And with Picard, our models achieve state-of-the-art performance on both Spider and CoSQL. In text-to-SQL translation, the goal is to translate a natural language question into a SQL query. There are two main challenges to this task. First, the generated SQL needs to be semantically correct, that is, correctly reflect the meaning of the question. Second, the SQL also needs to be valid, that is, it must not result in an execution error. So far, there has been a trade-off between addressing these two challenges. The second one can be solved by using a special decoder architecture that, by construction, always produces valid SQL. This is the approach taken by most prior work. These decoders are called constrained decoders, and they need to be trained from scratch on the text-to-SQL dataset. However, this limits the generality of the decoders which is a problem for addressing the first challenge. We find a better approach would be to use an existing pre-trained and perhaps fine-tuned model and to constrain its decoder to produce valid SQL at inference time. This is the approach taken by the Picard algorithm. How is Picard different from existing constrained decoders? Picard is an incremental parsing algorithm that integrates with normal beam search it is only present at inference time. Picard doesn't require any training. It is completely absent from training or fine-tuning of your model. In fact, Picard doesn't require any changes to the model. You can bring your existing model, T5, BARD, GPT, etc., and it just works. In other words, it works with any model that generates a sequence of token, including language models. Picard doesn't require a special vocabulary. It works without any changes with character, subword, and word-level language models. Let's look at how Picard actually works and how it is integrated with Beam Search. In many aspects, Beam Search with Picard is very much like ordinary Beam Search. The algorithm begins with a single token, usually the special beginning of sequence token, and then keeps expanding the beam with hypotheses generated step by step token by token, by the decoder. I'm only showing three token candidates for the first step, but there are as many as there are tokens in the vocabulary. You're probably wondering where Picard comes in. It's right here. At each decoding step and for each hypothesis, Picard checks whether the most likely tokens are valid. How many are checked is configurable. Here it is the top two. The third token is not checked and immediately discarded. In this case, Picard has decided that the top two tokens are both valid and the two tokens move on to the next step, where the process repeats. The first token above is invalid. All other check tokens are okay. As a normal beam search, the beam is pruned to contain only as many hypotheses as allowed by the beam size. Our beam has a size of two and so the third valid token is discarded. In the next step, the model does not suggest any valid tokens in the lower branch, and therefore it ends. Only the first hypothesis in the upper branch moves on. 
the algorithm repeats from here. Hypotheses that are terminated with the end of sequence token are not expanded further. The algorithm stops when all hypotheses are terminated or when the maximum number of tokens has been reached. This is beam search with Picard. How does Picard know whether a token is valid? In Picard, checking, accepting, and rejecting tokens is achieved through parsing. Parsing means that we attempt to assemble a data structure from the tokens that are currently in the beam or are about to be added to it. And this data structure and the parsing rules that are used to build it encode the constraints we want to enforce. These are both syntactic and semantics constraints and for SQL, they can get quite complex. In the paper, we report results for increasingly complex sets of constraints and show that each step up in complexity improves the quality of the generated code. The distinguishing feature of Picard is that parsing is incremental. You can feed the Picard parser a sequence of tokens that represents only part of the expected input. If that sequence is wrong, the parser returns an error. If the sequence can be completed to valid code, then the parser returns a success. These are the signals that are used in the beam search. I'd like to tell you the details of how all this works, but time doesn't allow us to get into that today. You'll just have to read the paper. The only thing I will say is that Picard's parser is implemented in a language called Haskell. How well does Picard work? Well, let's look at the numbers. Feel free to post the video here and expect them at your own pace. You can see that a 3 billion parameter T5 model achieves 68% exact match accuracy on Spider's test set on its own. When we add Picard at inference, the same model now performs at about 72%. This is a significant increase of 4 percentage points, which is enough to reach state of the art. We see the same increase in performance on the co-sequel dialogue state tracking task. The performance increases by about 3 percentage points when we enable Picard during beam search. Again, no changes to the model required. We just check token predictions during beam search. That's it. Thank you for your attention. You can find the Picard code and our pre-trained models on GitHub at Element AI Picard. There's also a write-up of this talk with additional details. See you at the posters. Bye.